want you to hear that we're all here for you. And, and is there anything that you could, you know, say that you want to bring back to keep going with the next of the rest of the series? No, it's it's really amazing. When when we finished with Twilight, um, one of the, a lot of it for me was like a big relief. Like I felt really good about. It. Like I put the the period at the end of the sentence and it felt good. The one thing that was really sad was, do I ever get to see these people again? You know, that last premiere was kind of, is this the last time? And then it's not, because I get to see people and it's kind of amazing. I mean, it's really humbling and, and touches you. It makes you a little misty. Yeah, definitely. Go ahead. I have kind of a fun, different question to ask for you. Oh, so, like fun question. Okay, so this is a little different. So obviously the host is the first time you've gotten out of something film-wise since Twilight. Which of your Twilight characters, if they were, you know, real people, if they were alive when the souls are taking over the earth, who just gets taken right away and who's mounting the human resistance? Well, I hate to say it, but you know, Charlie isn't always aware of what's going on around him. So it is possible that he would get nabbed up pretty quick. Um, I actually think Bella would have a pretty good chance. She's quiet, observant. She hangs to the back. No one's going to rush in to get her into the, into the clan because, you know, she has no power, right? But she's watching, and I think that she'd be tough.